Wow, what a fun opportunity for us to be here today. I hope you guys had a, <laughs> had a tremendous break, good experience, recharged, ready to go for a few more presentations. Um, to start off today, I wanted to show you a photo that we fell in love with as we were doing some research. A photo that I think um, shows um, the ultimate customer happiness. <laughs> doesn't, she, doesn't she look happy? Technology is changing the customer experience in every way, shape, or form. Um, I want to take us back, um, let's go back about 10 years ago, um, to January 8, 2007. That wasn't too long ago. Um, we lived in a world of a lot of life-simplifying technologies. Um, it made our lives better. For example, the iPod. Who didn't love the iPod, right? The iPod, take your songs everywhere, and I know there's some men out there that carried the pink iPod. There's got to be at least one or two of you. <laughs> Second off, cell phones. I think I actually own this cell phone. Um, now it's in the basement, and my kids get to play with that. Lastly, the Internet. We could access the wealth of knowledge from the Internet from wherever we could find a computer, whether we, wherever we could plug in. Fast forward a short, after January 8, 2007, fast forward just a short 24 hours to January 9, 2007. What a momentous day, a day that changed our lives forever. A day that Steve Jobs introduced the iPhone to the world. What was so impactful about what Steve Jobs did that day? Steve Jobs, his, his announcement was disruptive. It disrupted every way that we thought and every way that we, we behaved. All the things that made sense to us no longer made sense. He took what were separate, individual, yet very powerful technologies and saw an opportunity to pull them together to create a new shopping experience. It took a visionary like Steve Jobs to be able to see that opportunity and pull it together. We are here today to present to you um, current as well as emerging technologies that have the same opportunity. And we're here to encourage you to push back against the e-commerce players of the world. Push back by doing the same sort of thing. Um, it's my opportunity at this point to introduce our team. On the end, we have Elizabeth Alvarez Sell from the Hershey Company, Don Hoyt from Gelson's Markets, Josie Lopez from Coca-Cola, John Stoffel from Albertsons, and Hector Herrera from Fry's Foods, and I'm Steve Bitter from Associated Food Stores. Technology is changing the grocery retail business. It's disrupting what we do. We don't shop the same way that we used to. In fact, many have, have predicted the death of brick and mortar. You've all heard it, right? Brick and mortar is dead or it's dying. We boldly say to you today that this is not the case. Brick and mortar is alive and it will thrive, especially with a digital evolution. Existing technologies are there for your investment, but not one by one. Bring them together into a, one singular system, a smart store, ecosystem, a concept that we call click within the brick. As we go through our presentation today, we want you to remember we're not talking about a revolution, a digital revolution, we're talking about, about a digital evolution. At this point, I want to turn the time over to Josie to get us started. Thank you, Steve. Today, we'd like to inform you about three sites into the digital evolution and why you need to invest into your own smart ecosystem. We will tell you about cross sites, about the technological advancements outside of our industry in clothing retail. Secondly, we will tell you about insights about the technological uh, advancements in grocery retail. And lastly, we will tell you about foresights of the converging technologies and how they're changing customer expectations of the retail experience and why you need to act now to remain relevant and position yourself as your customer's preferred grocery store. Brick and mortar must evolve. They must differentiate their, some, their selves from web-based competitors. We're asking you to challenge paradigms, to innovate and differentiate yourselves. 
Next, we will show you a video that exemplifies the potential of digital within grocery retail. I think everyone in the room is passionate about great customer experiences. We're here to talk about how can we use technology to help enhance those experiences, to help engage with our customers, uh, to get them connected and loyal. It is an incredible time in business. It's an incredible time to be in retail. It's inspired. And you are the people that are going to change the game. It's about engineering the future that you want, understanding what's coming, but engineering the future that you want. What we're seeing is, a, what we predict is there's more change coming in the next five years than there has been in the previous 50. as good as the mobile app that the consumer is using? Are we as good as the Uber ride they just took? Are we as good as the Netflix experience that they have? And to get there, you're going to have to break some rules. You're going to have to be willing to challenge some paradigms in your industry. There is not one vendor that can do this for you. You're going to have armies of vendors helping you on this journey. You need to think about how do you create an ecosystem of partnerships with different vendors. We're, we're going up against you know, competitors that have been in the space for a long time. And so we need to constantly be evolving what we're doing and we need to be the first to market with it. Now wasn't that a cool video? I really liked the interactive screens. This is an example of how retailers are interacting with their customers with integrated screens, connected mobile devices, in order to appeal to customers and ensure they make the sale. Many retailers are acknowledging the power of technology and are integrating technology like big data, beacons, interactive screens, connected mobile devices, in order to, to appeal to their customers and remain as their preferred customer's choice. Let's take, for example, the Neo store. Uh, Adidas launched a six-week pilot in Germany. They employed the use of huge interactive screens, which allowed the Walker buyers to browse products, play with mannequins, but most importantly, they were able to buy product. Let's focus on what the technology did great. The window generated 90% of attention from the street. People liked playing with those mannequins and the overall gaming experience. It generated 181 interactions daily, and the technology was compatible with 85% of the smartphones. In many ways, Adidas evolved the original concept of the window display with an interactive display. Technologies like these make the store more appealing to customers and interactive which reinforces the concept that shopping is a social activity and that brick and mortar is not going anywhere. Hector, can you tell us more about emerging technologies? The time to invest in the digital age is already upon us. With over 190 million smartphone users in the US, retailers now have an opportunity to connect with customers in very unique ways. The technologies available today can be converged into a single cohesive unit that will allow retailers to connect with their customers through a device they can no longer live without, therefore integrating mobile into their everyday shopping experience. With changes in both demographics and technology, it is up to us to develop innovative ways to increase our chances of a successful strategy, in this case, putting the click in the brick. Linking current technologies and analytics, such as big data, beacon technology, digital shelf edges, scan and go, and converging them into a single physical location will prove without a doubt to be beneficial for brick and mortar retailers. This essentially will put us on the offensive, allowing us to obtain a unique advantage that the likes of our web-based competitors will never be able to replicate. Big data 
is an analytic driver that can predict future purchases, putting us ahead of the customer. This will enable us to gain the benefit of increased in-stock position, as well as an increase in accuracy of forecasting. Currently, a Kroger location out in Cold Springs, Kentucky, has outfitted their entire center store with smart shelves. These digital shelf edges added the benefit of not only displaying digital pricing, but digital ads as well. They also completely eliminated the need for physical tag replacement, saving on labor. Now in the future, as this technology progresses and advances, it may even offer potential benefits to our customers in the likes of in-store navigation or even increased product transparency. Beacon technology is a technology that utilizes beacons themselves throughout the entire retail location. What they do is that they communicate with customers via their mobile device. This benefits both the retailer and CPG companies alike through digital promotions. They also can specifically tailor the shopping experience right down to the unique customer. Scan and go technology is a technology that bases itself strictly on convenience. Now that same store out in Kentucky has outfitted their store with a scan, bag, and go kiosk. Now essentially what that does, that gives the customers the ultimate control over their own shopping experience. It allows those customers to select an item, purchase an item, and bag the item on their own, saving on time and adding convenience. Don will now tell us more on the potential of converging these technologies. Thank you, Hector. So we've seen how technology is transforming the consumer experience in other industries. And Hector has shared with us some of the amazing technologies that are emerging in our own stores today. And we know that technologies have a tendency to converge. Steve shared with us the analogy of the smartphone. In the same way that all those, those technologies converge from that smartphone, which is hopefully on silent in your pocket, <laughs> so too will all these retail technologies converge to create a single smart retail ecosystem, creating more deeper opportunities to interact with customers, giving stores the opportunity to interact individually, one-on-one -on -one with customers in real time as they walk the store. So what might this look like to a consumer? I imagine walking into a grocery store and being greeted by a, a digital concierge who knows my shopping history, knows my likes and dislikes, and can create offers and experiences and information specifically for me. Say, for example, I'm watching my gluten intake. Well, my digital technology partner here, who is in this case is going to be Obi-Wan Kenobi, would know about my experience, know about my likes and dislikes, and would understand that I'm avoiding gluten. And as I walk the store, Obi-Wan would light up, working with the digital shelf edges, the gluten-free options as I travel through the store. I buy paper towels in this store every week, but last week I didn't. Maybe I forgot, or maybe I bought them somewhere else. Either way, Obi-Wan would have noticed this lapse, and he would create an offer to remind me that I buy my towels here in this store and to entice me to put some into my shopping cart today. Sometimes when I go shopping, I like to pick up a quick snack, maybe some Reese's Pieces or a Diet Coke. <laughs> it, that was me. Obi-Wan would have noticed this from my shopping history and he would entice me to indulge my sweet tooth on this trip with a small offer. Or maybe the only thing I care about is getting in and out of the store as quickly as possible. If this were the case, Obi-Wan would point me quickly and efficiently to every item on my shopping list, once again lighting the shelf edge as I approach. And when that last item hits my cart, Obi-Wan would charge my credit card and I'm on my way out the door. Creating these personalized experiences is an important way for retailers to differentiate as, as Aldi and Walmart and the like take away the low price position. It's a strategy that can work for any store format. And John's gonna tell us a little bit more about the power and impact of creating personalized digital experiences. Hey, thanks, Don. 
And uh, thanks for sharing that hologram. It's, uh, I think OB1 looks pretty cool. Um, uh, so with that, Don shared about the future of converging technologies. I want to share with you two topics about what's happening currently in our marketplace. First, the importance of the in-store experience. And then second, how we can digitally integrate into our current in-store experience to provide unique and insulated competitive advantages. So with that being said, it's very important to remember that the customer always comes first. Everyone in, that, in this room knows that. But what I mean more specifically is the customer experience has to come first. Then you can use digital technology to add value to that experience, but not the other way around. Steve Jobs, one of the most creative and innovative minds of our times, knew this, and he stood by this belief his entire career. And this was ultimately the power and the excess, success that fueled his brand. So with that, let's dive into the customer experience. So a 2016 survey by Adobe, they said that 86, fully 86% 86 of customers would pay more for a better shopping experience. So to put it in perspective, you look around the room today, that's pretty about everyone in the room except for maybe the first row of our distinguished executives in the first row. Everyone else would pay more for a better shopping experience. That's very powerful. That's a strong majority. On top of that, by 2020, this same customer experience will trump price and product as the key brand differentiator. So when we apply that to the retail grocery sector, what, that, what does that tell us? We come to a, uh, a few different but powerful conclusions. First, from a strategic perspective, we know that a customer's willingness to pay increases based off the quality of their shopping experience. Two, we know in less than three years, this customer experience will be the most important key success factor in your market, the most important. And third, we know in a very short period of time, low cost leadership strategy of going to business for traditional brick and gro grocery retailers will no longer be a vi viable option. So with that being said, I think many of you are thinking right now, John, your entire presentation was about digital. You come up here and tell me that customer experience is the most important key success factor. Well, why do I need to invest in digital? If I can create that with the talented and powerful human talent that I have in my market today. Well, I'd tell you you're not wrong. You're not wrong at all. But I'd also tell you we found a more strategic, long-term approach. And that is to fully integrate digital with your already powerful customer experience to create an insulated, sustainable, competitive advantage. So with that being said, let's dive into the digital details. So did you know that 56 cents out of every dollar spent last year was influenced by digital? 56 cents. So if you apply that to the United States, the grocery retail sector, that would mean 56% of all of grocery retail sales, or $388 billion, was influenced by digital. Of those $388 billion that were influenced by di digital, 22% of those digitally influenced customers purchased more product. So again, what can we get from these findings and this information? We come to a couple conclusions. We know that first, digital influence is extremely powerful and growing at a very rapid rate. Second, we know that by digi digitally integrating into our unique and strong customer experience is a powerful way to generate and drive additional sales, something that we all want and need in this very highly competitive marketplace. So, today, right now, not tomorrow, not next week, not next month, not next year, today's the day to fully integrate. Today's the day to create your own smart retail ecosystem, something our team likes to refer to as the click within the brick. By fully integrating digital to your unique customer experience, you create a dominant market position that no e-commerce only retailer can compete with. It's the best way to first create and then fully exploit your own unique and sustainable competitive advantage. 
So with that, we're going to change gears a bit. We're going to talk about the marketing opportunities and some of the financial details in regards to this investment. Elizabeth? In an ad age study, uh, it was estimated that CPG companies are spending 46% of their marketing dollars on trade promotions, yet 75% of these promotions are seen as inefficient. The solution? Redeploy marketing dollars and invest in a more digitally focused approach, which would target consumers based on a more comprehensive promotional structure that would, tar that would work with the retail ecosystem. The ecosystem has a relationship with the consumer. It knows what the consumer needs and wants. This represents a perfect opportunity for CPG companies to strategically target core consumers in a more personalized manner. And the data that will be captured by the ecosystem will be invaluable. It will allow CPG companies to better invest their trade and marketing dollars. We estimate the cost of the ecosystem to be about $324,000 per store. If this is spread out over five years, the cost would be roughly $6,400 per month. Considering that retailers today are spending an estimated $6,100 just printing tags alone, we think the ecosystem is a very doable solution. So what is the cost of not evolving? $100 billion. We've all seen the study by FMI and Nielsen on the future of the grocery industry. And the study says $100 billion will migrate to online retailers by 2025. So what is the ROI for not evolving? $100 billion. It's simple. We must invest in digital solutions. As an industry leader once told us, we know that capturing a digital transformation is difficult to quantify. But an analogy that was told to us was, how do you quantify the ROI on clean bathrooms? It's difficult to measure, but the impact it has on the consumer and the customer satisfaction is immeasurable. Likewise, the ecosystem will have a tremendous impact on the consumer's satisfaction and their experience. Next, Hector will tell us more on the steps toward creating the digital evolution. So today we discussed current cross sites affecting the entire retail industry as a whole, insights within our grocery segment, and the foresights of the future digital experience. As retailers, it's critical for us to free ourselves from the constraints of conducting, man, conducting business strictly on a manual basis. Converging all of these technologies into one location will not only prove beneficial to us, but will create a unique shopping experience for the customer that will be unmatched through online shopping alone. The digital age is here. The industry has been completely disrupted by technology. Shoppers demand a shopping experience that not only entices their senses, but their digital curiosities as well. As shoppers still prefer to shop our physical locations, it's time that we pay them back for their loyalty. Let's engage our customers in this digital age. Let's get our smartest people on this. Let's strengthen our partnerships, not only with CPG partners, but with leaders in the digital industry. Let's create your own smart digital retail system. Now, from all of us to you, I'd like to thank you for your time. And we're now open for any questions. Good job, thank you. Um, who could you point to out there that's doing sort of the closest to anything like this today? 
Well, currently there's a Kroger location in Cold Springs, Colorado that's outfitted. I'm sorry, I, I couldn't see where the question was coming from. Oh, sorry about that. <laughs> currently there's a uh, Kroger location out in Cold Springs, Kentucky, I'm sorry, that's actually outfitted their uh, entire center store with the digital shelves. Um, aside from that, they also integrated the scan and go uh, kiosk for their customers as well. Now, as far as all the integrations into one, uh, we didn't find any location that strictly has them all completely consolidated. Uh, I did, however, find some research, or we found some research involving a Dollar General that is actually utilizing beacons uh, and working directly with Coca-Cola and offering digital promotions, depending on the location of the uh, customer within that retail location.